This video started out as a comparison in Adobe Premiere, uh, specifically in rendering, between the Ryzen 1800X, which I have in my system behind me, and the Ryzen 1600, which I have in my living room computer. And I just wanted to sort of check out how the two processors compared in rendering time, and if it made sense to upgrade from a 1600 to something like a 1700 that has more cores and more threads in Adobe. But in testing, I quickly found something extremely strange that, that forced me to delve a little deeper in that the 1600 was actually beating the 1800X in render times using the exact same settings, exact same files, and everything else. So of course it was at that point that I realized that I just had not updated my Creative Cloud Suite on my main computer in a couple weeks and there apparently was quite a large update from Adobe that really helps out uh, processors with lots of cores and threads. Now don't worry, the comparison between the 1600 and the 1800X are still going to be coming down the pipeline, but the gains from this update were so huge, I really felt like it deserved its own independent video, taking a little bit of a closer look. Now, something I did notice while testing was that it seems that the media encoder is now doing a better job of threading its workload. As you can see in the first attempt, or the first test rather, before the update, the media encoder was really sort of playing around that 50% CPU util utilization across all 16 threads. After the update, you'll notice that the CPU utilization jumps about 30% on a cons consistent basis and even up to 95 plus percentage in certain areas of the video rendering. Now for the end user, that resulted in a 24% gain. That's, that's shaving off roughly a quarter of the rendering time of the video. To call that huge gain would be a bit of an understatement. Now, I'm not sure whether Adobe has really optimized the media encoder and Premiere experience for Ryzen CPUs, or if this is just more general, where it'll take better advantage of multiple cores and threads from Intel parts as well. That I'm not sure because I don't have any Intel parts with lots of cores and threads available to me. Regardless, for those of you that are content creators using Ryzen parts, then this is a big gain for you if you are within the Adobe Creative Cloud suite. And this is a big win for anybody that's looking into getting a Ryzen-based system for that type of workflow. And here's where I want your comments down below. If you're somebody that has a 6-core or an 8-core uh, Intel product that has hyper-threading, so you're talking like 12, 16 threads, I'm curious if you've seen a recent improvement in render times from those processors or if this is more of a related to Ryzen type of an update. Let me know in the comments down below. All right, guys, that is it. If you like this content, give me a like down below, share, subscribe, comment. All those things are super helpful for the channel. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. And as always, I'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.